Good evening. Today I am going to show you how you can install an SSL certificate in your Ubuntu server, Ubuntu 20.04. So let's get started. I have created a blog on how to set up SSL certificate in Ubuntu that's available in my website. You can just go to awswithatik.com and search for Ubuntu, then this article will come up. So I will uh, follow the instructions that is written here and you can easily accomplish whatever you want. So I'm in my EC2 dashboard. So let's create a new instance and uh, set up a new uh, Ubuntu server. So first launch instance, that's uh, the basic thing. Here, we are not going to choose Amazon Linux 2, but we are going to choose uh, Ubuntu. That is Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. Then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, the T2 micro, the free tier instance type, and uh, that's good. Next, uh, everything is default as it is. Just one thing, I'm going to use IAM role. Why? Because I'm going to, I'm trying to connect the instance from the browser, which is the systems manager or session manager for AWS. Then I'm going to take this off, enable termination protection. That's, that's it. Then I click next. Storage eight gigabyte, that is fine. Add tags, it's add a tag, project, SSL Ubuntu. Security group, let's create a new security group. Web server. Okay, so let's add HTTP with anywhere. Let's delete the SSH because I'm going to use systems manager or session manager to connect to that instance. I don't need putty or shell anymore. Let's click anywhere, that's it. Launch, I already have this keep here, so let's launch the instance. So basically that's it, we are creating the instance. Now, uh, when the instance is ready, we will run our commands, which is uh, given into our website. So let's wait one minute. Usually it takes one minute to create a new instance. So this is the new instance. When it's ready, we will be able to connect to that instance via this interface. Let's refresh one more time. Okay, meanwhile, it's ready. Uh, it's extraordinary. I need to allocate an elastic IP. There is very basic thing, a small thing, but it can help you a lot in the future. So it is a good habit to use this elastic IP. I have uh, allocated an Elastic IP and now I'm going to associate this Elastic IP with the instance. Associate. Okay, that's the IP is associated. Let's go to instances. And if I now go to the details, I should see a Elastic IP. That's the IP address, that's it. So I copy the IP address and point to the A record. So it usually takes around five minutes to change the DNS record in Cloudflare. <clears throat> so meanwhile, I set up the server. My domain is pointed to the server and when everything is <clears throat> ready, it should be easily viewable. So now let's uh, connect to that instance. I'm going to use session manager and connect. So this is a very easy way to connect with your instance using a uh, session manager. And using this process, you don't have to use Putty or Shell to connect. The browser is good enough. And you can use any browser from your desktop or laptop anywhere. You don't need to have the 
a SPM file to be converted to PPK and then using PuTTY to connect no more of these things. Using the browser, you can connect to that instance. So what are the commands? The first one should do apt get update. That's the first one. I just copy and paste. It will literally run fine. If you just copy and paste it, it will all work fine. It is tested with Ubuntu 20.04 and it will just work fine. My second command that is sudo apt repository add ppa. This is a special repository for PHP 8 because by default it doesn't teach Ubuntu doesn't come with PHP 8. So we don't need to add this repository, which has the uh, PHP 8 available. Okay, let's let me clear the screen. That's awesome. So sudo apt get install php8 minus y and it's almost almost done and yes it's done it's finished so we have installed apache and php8 those are the two basic blocks which is required to run a web server. Well, you, you can use different services like Nginx, PHP, or even other things, Node.js, that's all fine. But I usually, I prefer to use Apache, which is there for a long time. So it's all there. Let's reboot the uh, Apache server too. Let's re enable the Apache Server 2, which means if you reboot the system, it will start by default. You don't need to manually start the Apache. Okay. The next thing is a bit tricky. You need to create a virtual host. But before that, I'm going to check if my domain is correctly pointed to the server. It should show a welcome screen, and uh, it is showing a welcome screen. That's great. awesome. So um, let's verify that we have PHP installed properly by going to CD um, for tup, tup, tup. HTML sudo vi info.php and I'm going to create a PHP info file. So now info.php, voila. So we have PHP version 8.0.9. All the good things are here. That's awesome. So everything is good. The one thing that is not good is not secure, which is a warning and people can get scared out of, out of this. I'm now going to install an SSL certificate using Let's Encrypt. But for that, I need to first create a virtual host. So let's copy this example, virtual host configuration file, copy and put it in a notepad. We will replace this, use the domain of your, uh, your domain with my ones. So let me copy the domain name here, the domain name. And let's repress this with the domain names. Okay, uh, all is good. So let's copy this. So uh, let's sudo pi etc. Which, sorry, Apache 2. To I need to uh, be root privilege, sudo su, sudo vi, etc, apache2, then we have const dot, sorry, uh, we have sites, 
available and then we have default.conf let's open this and let's uh, paste our content here paste the content write the form v start apache Now um, we need to create a folder, which we have created the document root that is this one. So sudo so mkdir cd. Let's move to that folder. Ls. Okay. Fine. So now let's try to refresh this page. Yeah. Yes. Good because uh, there is no file into this directory, newly created directory. Okay, now we have pointed that domain with a folder using virtual host. So this is the document root of our domain into the server. Now I'm going to uh, install Let's Encrypt and uh, using Let's Encrypt, I'm going to uh, create an SSL certificate. So install startbot. The process is you need to use SnapD. SnapD is by default installed on Ubuntu 20.0. So you don't need to install additionally, but if you are from a different OS, then you need to install it. After that, you need to install core, which is sudo snap install core. And it should take around one minute time to install the core. Okay, that's done. Now let's um, install the Sardbot Classic using the Snap. Okay, it's installing, it's progressing, that's good. It might take around one or two minutes time. So we need to be patient for that. Well, sometimes it can take more. Okay, I think it's taking more than normal. Normally, it take around one minute, <clears throat> but I think it's taking some time. I think I should abort it. I don't know what's happening here. Let's abort the process. Not sure what's happening. Okay, so the download has been aborted. Let's retry again. So um, it is now trying to download one more time. Yeah, this time it's done. I think something went wrong previously, but now it's okay. Last step is running this command. 
this will ask you for which domains you want to create the SSL certificates. Let me put an email address. Well, I'm going to do for one or two both. Okay, so now um, let's refresh this page. And here we are going to create an info file. So do PI. Let's say index.php. Add a PHP info. And let's run this one more time. Awesome. So we see the PHP info and we also see the wheel uh, lock icon, which means the connection is secure and we have a certificate that is issued on August 13 to November 11. So that being said, uh, these are the main things, uh, how to install an SSL certificate in Ubuntu 20.04. I hope this helps you to set up SSL certificate in your uh, web server. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and uh, share this with your friends. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.